Hello everyone, this is Pluto here. Welcome to another video. So, today, Test Drone, the Summer Test Drone for 2023 for Wizard 101 is officially online. It is online right now. I'm actually loading into the game right now. If you don't know how to get to Test Drone, you want to go to this link right here, wizard101.com slash game slash community slash update notes slash crying sky raid. And then there's a little sneak peek right here. You can click there and that will take you to a launcher. You can download Test Drone. But we're going to be going over the update notes today, so let's talk, let's talk a little bit about these update notes. So the first thing we got is, I don't know if you guys saw, there was a trailer for this. We got the Crying Sky Raid. This is freaking crazy. This is a new, the new Azteca Raid. I made a video on it. Um, and what's really cool is that this is going to be like a main story content type of thing. There's a prequest given by the new Raid Master, Gwyn Fellwarden. That's, that's pretty sick, man. So you have to do a prequest for it. Next major thing is going to be the name and gender change update. This is awesome. They kind of throw some some shade at uh, my boy Gume here. <laughs> They're kind of throwing some shade with Blake Myth Pedal. This is funny. That made me laugh when I saw that. But uh, it costs 100 crowns, apparently. You can change your gender um, gender and name or name only, whichever. Oh, yeah, I think that's really cool. Um, they have some more challenge mode updates. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but like, I think it was around a year ago-ish. Maybe it was like, I think it might have been the, the same update as Novus. They released uh, these these challenge mode things, but they were awful. Like, they basically just nerfed the fight and then released the challenge mode version, which is like the same version as the old one. So yeah, they kind of say here, we took some challenging fights and gave them the standard mode encounters for easier story progression. Progression, the status quo fights were then put in the challenge sigil. In this update, we have taken those status quo fights and given them a challenge mode makeover. So yeah, players who wish to take on these fights and will find that things have changed. They are now much more interesting. As a reminder here, the fights affected. So yeah, those they, they basically just made them better. Um, so, oof, there's some spell element paths for AoEs. Divided damage. Huh. That's interesting. So, they're basically making it so it's divided damage now? Several spells have been banned from advanced combat. These include AoE damage and heal spells such as Rebirth and Stormlord. That means that we won't be able to use like Stormlord and stuff in the new raid. That's crazy. Rebirth you won't be able to use either. So there are certain AoE spells that you can't even use. Infinite removal spells can't be used either. Um, they, they added spellment paths for Blizzard, Humongo Fraud, Meteor Strike, and Sandstorm. That's really cool. Advanced combat will also utilize the new level scaling. This was a higher level than content will have their stats scaled back. Huh. So I assume that's a, like for like hard mode. Right? So the process of implementing it is ongoing. So th th I don't think this has been implemented yet, but that's interesting. I actually have not read through all of these yet, so I'm not, you're kind of viewing my first reaction as well. So we have new beast forms. We have the Balance uh, Ninja Pig, Ice Cyclops, Storm Minotaur. We already knew about these. It's a pretty cool um, event schedule. So there's a new event schedule? Or is this like an old one? I'm not entirely sure about this. I don't know. I don't do Beast Moon much, so maybe I should do it more often. I don't know. This was kind of interesting to me. Um, the in-person pet kiosk update. Now, I would really have to go into Wizard 101 and see this. But basically what it is, is it's a way to cheapen the hatchmaking kiosk. Right now, if you don't know, the hatchmaking kiosk is it costs a lot of gold. A ton of gold to even use it so when a player is online and you try and hatch with their pet through the kiosk i think there's like a little like notification thing that like comes up to them and like there's yeah the hatch request it's like right here the hatch request and it basically lets you like teleport to them and you can it, it, it's 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 kind of weird i don't really know if people are going to use it that much i mean i mean this is kind of cool like it basically has the i'm like if i have to use the kiosk i'm obviously gonna try and use it but um I don't know. I don't know if people will, like, teleport to do it. I don't know. But I think it would be really cool if that, if that was the case. Pet Derby returns? What? You can now either play ranked or practice pet derby matches to earn points for pet promenade. That is so cool. That is funny. That's actually funny. The return of pet derby in this update, too. That's hilarious, dude. Oh, my gosh. We got some PvP changes as well. This is something massive level scaling basically level 160s can fight in like level 50 matches level 100 matches or level 60 matches that is insane that's crazy i don't know how it works with stats i don't know if you have to like 
if you can't use gear, like if you have to use like level 50 gear, right? I don't know if you have to do that or if there's like another way, but it like lowers your stats so you can actually play against them. I think that's awesome. I think that's actually really cool. I'm really happy about that. That's that's amazing. So we got some bug fixes as well. Um, let me, let, me, let me just skim through these. Uh, a certain raid teleport crash has been fixed. That has been ye like a year in the making. We need that. That has been a while. Lunari Cap has an overflow in the title. That's pretty good. Um, ooh, okay. Ray my stitch no longer show the pet. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Catch of the Day, Secret Charging, Burn and Rampage have Spellman Pads. That's pretty cool. You can no longer acquire these spells directly from bosses, though. That sucks, because I didn't ever get Sacred Charge. I got Burning Rampage and Catch of the Day, but I didn't ever, I didn't ever get Sacred Charge. That kind of sucks, though. Oh, Catch of the Day spellments can be found at Tactical Nova. That's, that's good. Um, okay, Burning Rampage and Sacred Charge can be found at Lambent Fire. That's pretty good. Okay, so you can get the spellments still. Um, I guess I have to farm Lambent Fire again. That's kind of annoying, but I guess, yeah. Um, Pigsy, Don't Mind, Queen Slips, or Hammer Throw, and Headless Horseman now have a standard top path. Okay. New Cantrip, Horn of Plenty was added. Ooh, I wonder what that is. That's interesting. Cantrip, Sigil, Spells were rebalanced. All AoEs have been marked. No PvP. What? 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 So they just killed Team PvP. So Team PvP is dead. Okay. So, so no more Team Peeve. Or is this, like, maybe a rebirth of Team Peeve, where they're saying, like, you can't use AoEs? That's, yeah. Damn. Well, rip Team Peeve. I thought it was only, like, Stormlord. I thought it was only, like, like really overpowered ones. But no, like, it's it's AoE. It's all of them, apparently. That's crazy, man. But, so that means they can't even be used in, like, raids, either. That's kind of nuts, dude. That's kind of nuts. That's a massive nerf. That makes the not only the Voracious Void Raid ha, like harder, but it's going to make this new Azteca Raid really hard. Okay. Well, overall, I, it looks like I, I've i gone through everything. There might be a few bug fixes that I missed. Maybe some, like, I don't think that's, there's anything really major that I missed. So this is a pretty good update. I think this is a really good update. All right? I think I really, like... Like this update, I'm I'm super excited to try out the Crying Sky Raid. I'm super excited to check out the name and gender change feature. I'm really excited. I think this is gonna be a great update. So, um, make sure you go on test drum and try it. I'm gonna be on test drum today, so make sure you try it out. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.